What's up friends and family? It's Taylor here. Just taking my morning drive on West Cliff. So this video right here is uh, just a disclaimer, much like episode 3 where we did the floors. Uh, the video is not made all on the same day. Uh, matter of fact, this cabinet took us quite a while, but I wanted to make one video. I don't want to make like three different videos for all the different things we did. Um, you can kind of get the gist of it. If you have any questions, you know, you can just write it down below. And, uh, we can uh, do our best to answer. We also have a tendency to forget to record things. And we just forget to film stuff. So I apologize for any lack of video, any gap in footage. Hope you enjoy it. Check it out. Wait for the next ones to come. Have a good day. I know I'm going to. That sun's about to burn through those clouds. Getting some footage of you making these um, pocket holes, so see how we made these cabinets. Yeah, they're coming along. We are using half inch plywood rather than three quarters, which is the standard cabinet thickness. But we wanted it a little lighter, so we're going to use a half inch. So our pocket, jo pocket joiner needs to be a quarter inch off of the board in order to get the right size depth for the screw that we're going to All right, we're making the cabinet. Uh, we've completed assembling the, uh, the toe kick to the deck. We have our interior panels, support panels and dividers cut out. The back support race is gonna go across all these back pieces. The toe kick is about three inches, and it's like three inches high, basically secure. Exterior wall, secure it to there. Do the same thing with the uh, other panels and then run that race. We're just kind of like hand fitting this one because it's going inside of a bus and people don't really make plans for what we have. So that's what's on the agenda for today. We're going to try and get this thing finished. Okay. This is our sink. 26 inches wide. I could probably. 25. Get a bath in here. <laughs> Probably. All that. I also recommend doing test drills on like an old piece of wood. I did that, kind of found the, the right spot. I think it'll be fine. We cut out notches here for the steel beam that um, hold, held the seats in. You had to prefab that so that it would fit. So, not easy. What a hand fitting, yeah. which is cool. It go in and anchor so in like at this angles. This side, this side, this side, this side. Okay. Yep. So we made our face plate yet. We might have to go back and get more wood. We kind of want it all in one solid piece so it's um, pretty put together and stronger. Keeps everything else together. We can cut one more right out of it. I'm gonna tip it. Okay. Underneath. Fill with it. We clamp this.
Holy frig, boys. Okay. We're gonna just slide it right through the back. Just the face. Right yeah, well, on the counter it'll fit. Oh, yeah. Perfect. It's gonna be on the. We just made our drawers for our kitchen cabinet. We used our what's that? table saw. Table saw to notch in a quarter inch slats for the bottom of our drawers. Yeah, we're going to use that for the bottom of our drawers. Once we get these together, we'll be able to slide the bottom of the drawer right into these slits. We'll show you guys more when we get them and we start to construct them once we get them all put together and we'll show you exactly how that works. attempt at making our cabinet drawers. We'll see. I, I think I have like high hopes. I don't think it's gonna be too hard. This thing seems pretty. That should be good, babe. Getting some sun treatment, letting it cure, trying to get it to set real strong. And now, Takaria. What you doing there, baby? I am sawing this shit out. <laughs> so we can put our drawer sides on. We're cutting out <clears throat> the notch for this here guide, the plastic guide basin. We have to kind of custom fit. what we're doing. <clears throat> Trying to figure out how to put the drawer side on the actual drawer. It's not easy. Show the world how that works. Boom. Right. Babe, we did that all by ourselves. No help from nobody, except for all the people that we asked questions. <laughs> now we're routing. Routing the drawer faces and the doors. Trying to use a little trick. So I'm basically gonna like try and use this bottom piece as a uh, continuing guide for the router because if the, the lowest setting we can put on it without with still having the bearing on the wood like leaves a little too much and then the next setting just like there's no nothing to stop the blade from just digging all the way in so I want to try and put a lower guide and then clear the whole the whole corner Let's see if it works. Thank you. 
Boom, it worked. <laughs> and I just thought of it and I tried it. You know, it just came to me, so I uh, just went with it. We got a rounded edge, yay! Not now a block. A million more. Now a million more. Exactly. Um, no, we should. Uh... This is where the wheels are, so that kind of gives you an idea. <clears throat> What are we doing, baby? Um, we are getting the face frame put together so that we can finally put it on the cabinet. These are going to go vertical columns for the doors, and it's going to be the horizontal ones for, for the drawers. The I know I should be wearing glasses. <laughs> Table salts are fucking dangerous. Getting some work done on the drawers. We almost have them fully installed, but it's been a lot of work.
thing in the countertop. My bad. But luckily, it doesn't need a whole lot of like perfection. Still a pretty rough cut. We're gonna uh, blast off, we're gonna dust off this counter before we glue it. We're gonna install a quick backsplash and we're gonna stain it the same color as the counter and butt it up so that it matches with this one because I don't want to have an eighth inch piece of wood here and not here and there. All right, uh, we're about to put the countertop on. Very exciting. Using the liquid nail. I hear you're supposed to be very generous with it. So I've put down quite a lot. A lot of liquid nail. Move it on the side edges. Okay, let's get this on. All right. So we got the counter on. We used liquid nails as we showed you earlier. And um, we did put like a little, um, like a... This? Yeah. Backsplash. A backsplash, kind of. It's like our mini backsplash. But we did use the same liquid nails to adhere it to the back. And I'll show you here. We use these wood things here to kind of like hold it in place and up against the back of the counter because the windows... The windows do have a gap there, so we use the wood to kind of jig it in and push it up against the counter. Push it in. But yeah, these here are just to put weight upon the countertop to kind of hold it down. You can see here. Looks pretty good if I don't say so myself. Alright, now on to sink installation. Basically, you just really need silicone, clean surface. I should probably give these a wipe before I do it. Yeah. Also, pressured air helps. Wait for that other air compressor to stop and we'll get to it. Takes forever. Forever. I'm just gonna turn it off for now because it's fucking annoying. Uh, I'm gonna put stuff on them to weigh them down because these clamps that came with the sink didn't have long enough screws. I think they were meant for a small, regular countertop. It's like coated, and this is a big old butcher block, so they just they can't clamp the sink down to the countertop like you're supposed to. So I'm just gonna put heavy stuff on it. So see how it goes.